Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go over the basics of stream elements how to uh, use their pre-made templates and customize those and how to add them to your OBS, how to test your alerts, how to add widgets, all that fun stuff, all the basics. We're going to go ahead and open it up and we'll get going. All right. So first we're going to open up stream elements, which I've already done. I have it ready to go. But you basically will log in. It comes up with like Twitch, YouTube, all that fun stuff right here. I'm already logged in. So here's my dashboard, my lovely nothing going on dashboard <laughs> on the side here you can see all of this fun stuff so under streaming tools is where you're going to find the gallery and so you have all different kinds of themes here that you can use i think you can use any of these for free so there's animated there's static which the only difference is is like the stuff on the overlays might move or whatever or it's just a still image text is rotating but that's that's about it. It comes with all your different screens that you might want. Stream starting soon, be right back. Stream ended, like a talking scene, and then you're in game. So yeah, you can choose any of these. So if you just type static, it'll it'll sort all the static themes for you. You can grab each link and post it to your OBS Live, or you go to go to your my overlays, or on the side over here, underneath overlay gallery, it says my overlays. And there you can view and edit all of the... So it just basically saved all these. As you can see, I've got quite a few on here that... Okay, so the next task comes how to edit each one. So you click the little edit button. That's pretty self-explanatory. But once you get into the editor, that's where it got confusing for me at least. Basically how this editor works, if you're familiar with digital art programs or di uh, photo editing like Photoshop, um, I have a lot of videos on Medibang. Uh, there's so many other applications out there, um, Clip Studio Paint. Basically you work in layers and you have all of those layers on the single page that you're looking at, but you can hide, show them if you're new to all this of what layers are, how they work. So basically your layer that's at the top so like your alert box right here is going to be on top of everything in this overlay with everything that's on the bottom. Like all, you'll see all these icons, all these uh, pictures, all that stuff down here on the bottom. The background is the very last one. So it's on the farthest layer and then you work to the front from there. So you'll have your background, you'll have your text some of your text, then you'll have some of your other images, which are like the little green boxes and everything. And then you're going to have text sitting on top of that and etc. So the easiest way that I found, because as you can see, there's a bunch of names on this, you know, four social bar, five social bar. It's not really telling you which one it is, right? So you have Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitch channel right here. Um, thank you for the support, the latest followers and stuff. Those should all be like already set up and ready to go. You shouldn't have to really do much with those unless you want like the text to scroll or something, like I said, because this is a, a static overlay. So nothing is moving around. That's basically all that means. So if you have an, an older computer or a computer that's maybe not as high end, I recommend going with static overlays because it'll free up a lot of the memory on your computer as well as using cloud-based like stream elements is, it's going to free up that CPU usage usage on your computer itself. As well as Stream Labs, you have to uh, use that application and have it everything going for that. And I've never been able to use Stream Labs. I even have a nicer laptop now, and I still don't like it because it just uses up so much memory on my computer. It makes the gameplay hard. It makes it lag. It makes it. It's just bleh, 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 bleh. So that's why I like using Stream Elements with the browser plugins basically like the browser source that it's a cloud-based overlay everything's working it's whatever that's saved to your cloud and you don't have to worry about it it's and if you make any edits to it you just go to streamelements.com make your edits that you need to and then you refresh your browser source in obs and you'll see those changes instantly and there's not a whole lot of you know adding images to obs adding, adding a bunch of text and whatever to obs because that would be basically like creating this whole overlay inside your over inside your obs you'd have to put the background image you'd have to put the other images on top of that with the text and what you know it's possible yeah it's possible but it's time consuming as well so if you just want something pre-done that all you got to do is go in and edit really quick this is a great alternative and i'm sorry i went on a little ramble there the easiest way that i found to edit anything is just to go click on it and then it usually will highlight 
the thing you just clicked on. Okay, so why won't it let me click on anything? I don't know what it is about the super themes, but it's not allowing me to edit, like actually move things around like I want to or get rid of things. So I'm going to this. Well, this is a super theme too, and it let me do it. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that, but I'm going to edit this. Okay. Like I was saying in the previous one. So you see this like download more icons BS right here. Just click it and delete it. All right. So I'm going to move this out of my way. You can click and drag it and move it. So I didn't really go over this little bar. You have your emulate, which lets you test your alerts, undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out, reset, zoom. So it just like snap, you know, if you zoom in and you need to snap it back out that you hit that and then fit to screen will fit it to your screen and then snapping is turned on. So things will try to snap to the grid and also this controls audio inside the editor. So if you want to test alerts, but you don't want to hear it go off on that, you want to hear it go off in your OBS, you can mute it on the editor. So we got rid of that. So I don't want Facebook on here, but that's going to leave a huge gap, right? That's going to leave a gap. We don't want that. You hold shift and you can click multiple things. Now you hold shift and you're going to tab over and you can move that whole little section just like so. So hold shift, click, click, boom, both highlighted. Hold shift again and uh, hit your arrow key. Uh oh, Twitter's still selected over here. Why? I forgot to click off it. Okay, click, click. All right, now we're going to tab it over there. So now we don't have a big ugly space. So yeah, that's basically how you can edit that little stuff right there is you can click it, you know, it kind of highlights it on your list or you can just click delete if you don't plan on doing anything. But if you need to edit it, you just click it. It'll automatically select it on your list, which I already renamed it YouTube so I could find it. Then you go in here in the message part and you type in and now I got to move Twitter and stuff because it's too close. So I got to make sure it's not selected. Select both of these. Oh, no, no, no. Control Z under that shift and click now shift and arrow over. Boom. If you're like editing text, or whatever, and it's starting to run into each other. That's how you can move things over easily without having to click and drag every single little thing, which is a pain in the butt. Let me tell you, pain in the butt, right? And now we want to edit Twitter, which I know I'm going to have to probably move things over again. So it'd be a good idea to edit all the text and then move things over. Because I have the settings tab up, it automatically brought it up. It didn't even have the list open. Okay, so you're going to make sure you want to hit that save button before you exit out of it. I want to put this overlay into OBS. How the heck do you do that? Before we talk about that, I want to say if you're liking this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out my channel and I really appreciate every single like. Thank you. So here's OBS. First thing we have to do is hit this little, little copy URL button right here. Click that. And this is our stream ending scene. Oh, don't add scene. So we're just going to rename this scene to ending and now we add our source which is going to be a browser source and we're going to name it stream ending or you can do like se overlay or you know just name it something you're going to recognize all right now we paste make sure to highlight that whole thing and paste the link in there you're going to change the width to 1920 and the height by 1080 1920 by 1080p it doesn't matter what your graphic settings or whatever are. You're just going to keep this as your base uh, setup. And you can shut down the source while it's not visible. Refresh it when it becomes active. Uh, that does take a little extra to do if you want. Sometimes it can take it a minute. If you want it there constantly, don't turn that on. So if you constantly are switching between scenes, you don't want to sit there and wait for them to to refresh you know make sure to not check those boxes so now we're gonna click okay it's gonna take it a second there we go and there's our lovely lovely overlay we have a static overlay cool you want to make some text scroll but you don't want an animated overlay this is how you do that super easy so we're gonna go to latest follower and then here at the very bottom of the text settings we have text scrolling just turn it on and I like to slow it down to like at least maybe a two or a three it makes it easier to read and boom done text scrolling click save you don't have to repaste your link you just hit save and then this we're gonna refresh and now the text is scrolling that's how you do that pretty cool huh save we want to add widgets test out the alerts that fun stuff so 
when you use each theme, each um theme, it should have the same alerts on each one. If you want to customize your alerts, you're going to have to go into each specific overlay and do it there. Multi you know, you're going to have to do it three or four times to get them all the same. But if you're just going off the default, it's always going to be the first layer. But your alert box should usually be the first thing. And you're not going to see it. It's an invisible box. But you can see now it's highlighted. So I'm going to click emulate. And just, and you have the preview live on stream. So it'll also pop up in OBS. So click follower event. Boom. George is now, Georgie is now, oh Georgie, oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, I don't, if you guys haven't seen it, you, you know, if you have, you know who Georgie is. <laughs> Gary. <laughs> oh no. So let's test another one. So let's emulate a host event. Just click it. There we go. She is now following. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the alerts. I'll turn the volume up a little bit. Let's see. Mildred is now following. They're working. Cool. So if you don't like where that alert box is, you can always move it. Make sure to click it to highlight, hit hold shift and move it. Or you can just like click and drag it around that too. And then you have your chat box right here. Say you want that box to be like a different color or something. You can do a white checker or dark chat or custom chat to make it to make it a transparent. Messages fade after 30 seconds. Or you can show messages permanently. Messages are delayed by two seconds. And enter a username to give them mod. So if you have mods or whatever, you want to make them, a, you can add their name there instead of, or you can do it just straight in your OBS chat as well. Add a widget. Okay, this nifty little add arrow thing down here is how you're going to add other things to your stream. And we'll kind of go through and see what we have available here. You can add new labels if you want to add latest subscriber your latest new subscriber resubscriber top gifters list total of all time goals you can enter subscriber goal and then you have follower goal you know you can put in a goal for anything pretty much train count event list now playing but you can add uh, static custom stuff you can add a merch rotator a custom widget using html css or javascript code asset rotator slideshow you can create an image slideshow, slide show, add a video, add an image, text, engagement. You can create a countdown. So like on that starting soon screen, you saw that countdown. You can add one here if you wanted to like count down when you're actually going to end stream. Do a contest, giveaway, media request, subscriber credit roll. And then you can also add different alerts. So, uh, you know, alert alert box for just the basics. Show emotes from chat in your screen. Store redemptions, hype boss, different donation things, or seasonal holiday decorations, Easter decorations, snow. You can make let it snow or do some Halloween spookiness. Let's add that. See what it does. Okay. So the images. So what? Oh, you can add. A bat here, there, an owl. Oh, how cute. Oh, I like it. <laughs> that's so cute. Okay. If you were creating a totally customized overlay, that's where you would find all this stuff is right here in this little add, add button. I plan on doing a video on how to create a totally customized one or, you know, to create one from scratch, essentially, instead of using one that they already have. But I like using the ones that are already there because they're, they're good. They're simple. You know, all you gotta do is edit some text on them. Maybe add a few like little things here or there but they're good to go i'm not about to spend a bunch of time doing that the only things i like to do customized are the sound alerts which i plan on doing a full video on how to customize that how to go through and edit it, all of it on stream elements which i know is pretty similar like this whole editing thing and whatever is very similar to stream labs they have their own like editor you know software within their own program it basically all works the same with the layers and everything too you can kind of take anything you learn from this video and apply it to that okay i'm back on OBS, you know, you basically want to add all your scenes. So you're going to have darting and you can just like click and drag to reorder them. We're going to add a live scene and then we want to be right back scenes. I like to put them like in order, like about like this. So I like to make keyboard shortcuts to like back and forth between the scenes. I also have an app that I'm going to do a video on how to control your stream via an app on your mobile device. So you don't even have to have 
looking at OBS, you can mute your mic, you can switch between scenes, you can start, stop your stream, you can do all that with this app that I that I like personally that I use. That is how you customize stream elements. If you have any other questions, uh, leave them down in the below. I am happy to answer anything. I know I might have skipped over a couple things if I if I forgot a few things. I'm sorry. Those are the basics. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, like I said, give it a like. Please, it really helps out my channel. Comment down below what you thought. Um, um, what are your favorite things to do? Uh, do you stream elements? Do you stream labs? Do you just basically put it all together in OBS itself? What do you use? Um, you know, I'm interested in always to hear what you guys are doing. This is the easiest way that I found that it can work for me and it keeps my OBS, you know, very clean and not like a bunch of stuff everywhere. Cause you can group things together to make it look nicer. You can do that on here as well if you really wanted to, but it just kind of makes it tedious and hard to find stuff if you're looking for it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Oops. Switch seeds on me. Why'd it do that? Oh, definitely get any coffee today. I don't know why it did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh have a good week guys bye